one of nasa's major goals for the nineteen eighty s in aerodynamic research has been to explore the nature of the air that passes over surfaces of an airplane's wings and fuselage the smooth flow of smoke from this burning cigarette is a good example of laminar airflow when an airplane wing is built perfectly smooth without joints, gaps and rivet holes the same type of undisturbed airflow over the wing results if the airflow hits debris on the wing as small as six thousandths of an inch even bugs, turbulence results and the scrubbing action of the air causes drag maintaining laminar airflow can reduce aerodynamic drag from 25 to 40 percent resulting in greater fuel efficiency a research team working out of the Ames Dryden Flight Research Facility in California are flying a Jetstar business-sized aircraft with two specially adapted wing sections, as seen in this model. The test sections are designed to artificially induce laminar flow over the wings. The idea is that airflow can be held laminar over a very smooth wing section if air is sucked through regularly spaced pores or slots in the wing. Both wing sections have systems that keep the wing clean of bugs, ice, and other contaminants. The primary focus of this study is to fly the Jetstar in typical commercial airline routes across the country in order to prove both systems' worthiness under real conditions. Pilot Don Mattis. It's really uh, just a general uh, exposure all over the country uh, in the airline environment. Get it out of the test area and, and put it to work. Scientists at the Langley Research Facility in Hampton, Virginia, are also studying laminar flow. They use a Learjet that has a modern wing design, incorporating smooth surfaces to which chemicals are applied, allowing researchers to see natural laminar and turbulent airflow patterns as they occur during different flight conditions. A promising breakthrough is a new liquid crystal chemical that changes color according to aerodynamic effects. Never has continuous transition between laminar and turbulent flows been seen before. Since the late 1930s, it was believed that laminar flow couldn't exist on airplane wings. The smoothness of plane wings today makes the difference. Richard Wagner talks about going a step further and applying laminar flow to supersonic applications. We intend to flight test an F-106 and look to see how much laminar flow we can get on the wings and on the vertical tail. Many people believe that uh, laminar flow control at supersonic speeds could be the answer to an economical supersonic transport. Laminar flow, for many years ignored as a way to reduce drag in aerodynamic research. Now, a promising approach to greater efficiency in flight. 